Meghan Markle stepped out in Santa Barbara and proved once again that she's somehow perpetually out of sync with the world. Her outfit crinkled as a metaphor for her relationship with the royal family. Fresh off the press, news broke that she was spotted at Girls, Inc. of Greater Santa Barbara for a noble cause on October 2. Megan was there to support a new digital wellness program for teenage girls conveniently launched on October 11, coinciding with International Day of the Girl. But if you think royal fans focused on the program's positive mission, think again. Most of the attention was on Meghan's sartorial choices, and as per usual, the conversation got spicy. There she was, rocking a blue J. Crew shirt now coincidentally sold out online, paired with white wide-leg trousers that seemed determined to wrinkle with every movement. A smart casual look, you might say, until you realized that the shirt was unbuttoned to depths more appropriate for a beach day than a teen mentorship event. The belt, Ralph Lauren, naturally. The shoes, Manilow Blonix, because it wouldn't be Megan without a high-end nod. But here's the kicker. Did the shirt have to be unbuttoned down to her solar plexus? That choice, along with the wrinkled trousers, left many scratching their heads. What exactly was J. Crew trying to communicate with this partnership, the once preppy brand used to be the epitome of polished American fashion? With Megan's version of relaxed chic, it seems to have adopted a laissez-faire attitude towards ironing. It's almost as if J. Crew is subtly distancing itself from its long-held reputation for crisp, clean attire, opting instead to cater to Megan's unique approach to dressing wrinkles and all. Of course, royal watchers and social media had a field day. One comment cut straight to the heart of the matter, saying I wouldn't unbutton my shirt below my bra line when visiting a girl's charity. Another criticized her apparent lack of self-awareness. There have been many photos showing that she lacks the ability to dress appropriately for the occasion. It's quite disturbing, especially around children. And while Megan was busy sharing her own stories of digital bullying and the importance of mental wellness, critics were quick to point out the irony. Some questioned the timing of the event and accused her of trying to overshadow a recent engagement by Princess Catherine, who had made her first public appearance post-treatment just a day earlier. It's hard to imagine Meghan and her stylist sitting there thinking, yeah, let's go for trousers that look like they've been dragged through a hedge backwards. J. Crew, as a brand, probably didn't sign up for this image when they collaborated on the shirt. Is it possible that J. Crew is regretting this sartorial alliance as their clothing now appears on Meghan in a slightly less than royal condition? The social media response has been swift and unrelenting. As one Twitter user remarked, wrinkled AF as usual, another pointed out, giant man pants just don't suit her. At this point, it almost feels as if Meghan's daring people to keep critiquing her. Whether it's her insistence on slightly off-kilter outfits or a knack for releasing event photos at suspiciously convenient times, there's always a reason for her to stay in the headlines. So, is it all part of some grand strategy?